This week alone, scientists made various discoveries, one of which was the announcement that an asteroid will pass by us tonight. 2021 LV-5 will be the next closest approach, although researchers studying the space objects did say that although it will get close, it will still be a few million miles away. Regardless, even at this distance, it's still labelled as a near-Earth object. As stated on NASA's website, Near-Earth objects are comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter the Earth's neighbourhood. Composed mostly of water ice with embedded dust particles, comets originally formed in the cold outer planetary system, while most of the rocky asteroids formed in the warmer inner solar system, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The scientific interest in comets and asteroids is due largely to their status, as the relatively unchanged remnant debris from the solar system formation process some 4.6 billion years ago. Interestingly, recent studies that have been carried out by top researchers, and also programs that are influenced by artificial intelligence, have said that one of the most likely ways our planet will end is if an asteroid collides with us. This is something that has worried agencies like NASA for a while now, with them even carrying out investigations to see how much these near-Earth objects would affect our planet, and after getting the results back they said that it doesn't end well. Even some of the smaller asteroids that only measure between 20 to 100 meters would have devastating effects on nearby areas, with the researchers saying that an asteroid of this size could easily wipe out entire cities. Although the majority of asteroids are within this size range, there are much bigger ones, and if these were to collide with us, it could mean the end of civilization as we know it. It's hoped that Earth's largest space agencies and scientists could combine forces to create missiles to destroy the asteroids. However, the chances of this succeeding may be rather slim, and it would be years before we could tell whether or not this strategy was successful. The simulation showed scientists that the asteroid would be hardly affected, and that six months is not enough time to prepare a spacecraft to take out the asteroid. The test was called the Space Mission Options for the Hypothetical Asteroid Impact Scenario, and Lily Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer, said the following. Each time we participate in an exercise of this nature, we learn more about who the key players are in a disaster event and who needs to know what information. These exercises ultimately help the planetary defense community communicate with each other, and with our governments to ensure we are all coordinated should a potential impact threat be identified in the future. End quote. Dr. Paul Chodas said the following. Hypothetical asteroid impact exercises provide opportunities for us to think about how we would respond in the event, should an asteroid be found to have a significant chance of impacting our planet. Details of the scenario, such as the probability of the asteroid impact, where and when the impact might occur are released to participants, in a series of steps over the days of the conference, to simulate how a real simulation might evolve. End quote. As of right now, a collision with an asteroid large enough to cause significant damage to Earth is unlikely, although NASA have said that they're constantly scanning the skies. Asteroid and space debris also help us to understand our universe, and some of the past events that happened. Going back in 1969, an interesting discovery was made in Murchison, Australia. An object had crashed into our planet, and after various tests were conducted, it revealed some fascinating news. The Murchison meteorite has become one of the most studied meteorites, and scientists said that over 100 kilograms of this space rock landed in Australia, and it gave them the chance to take various samples and study them. One of the first things they discovered was that this space rock harbored various compounds, some of which included that of amino acids. Along with amino acids, this meteorite also contained a very complex mixture of alkalines. One paper which was published in the journal Nature described that the amino acids were of extraterrestrial origin. 
it soon got the interest of scientists worldwide, and to this day many studies and tests are still being carried out. Interestingly, recent studies that were conducted by scientists on this meteorite announced that the oldest material found on Earth is in the silicon particles from this meteorite. Further seen that tests show them to be over 7 billion years old. As of right now, the researchers have said that it's important we carry out more tests, and that they hope in the near future more discoveries will be made that will help them to understand its origins and where it's been for the past 7 billion years. Another interesting discovery was made in Russia. Scientists said they had discovered a meteorite that has inside of it material that does not occur on Earth. This find was made at the State University. The new material is a nitride that forms cube-shaped crystals and consists of nitrogen and small amounts of iron and chromium. The Russian scientists have come forward and said that the crystals can only be found in a small portion of the meteorite. The meteorite was discovered in 2016, and since then many tests have been conducted. The particles are small and this has created some challenges. The team was only able to directly determine the composition and structure of the material. The composition of the meteorite shows that the material must have formed under extreme conditions, and many of the minerals found there only formed at well over 1000 degrees Celsius. Space is, more probably, always been on its broad frontier for humans. It's constantly expanding, and is home to billions of galaxies, all of which are said to be home to billions of planets. Although our best minds have done a great job at understanding some of the things within our solar system, it's obvious that there's many more mysteries out there waiting to be uncovered. So what do you make of these asteroids? Also, what do you make of NASA's simulation? And do you think an asteroid strike is the most likely candidate to end life on planet Earth? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.